All right, so we're going to be defining a vector between two points here. Two points, you can see here. I've got a Cartesian plane, an x and a y axis. Uh, now, I'm going to define the vector uh, from point A to point B. Now, just before we get into that, I want you to realize that, yes, I'm creating what is supposed to be a straight arrow between point A and B, but remember, vectors don't have solid positions. They're not stuck in a particular point. So once I've defined vector AB, I can move it around. It doesn't actually exist at a place. It's just that direction and that length that I'm interested in. Okay, so I have point A and I have point B. How am I going to find out what vector AB is? Roughly speaking, it's going to have a positive I coordinate because it's moving from here over to here, and it's going to have a negative j component because it's moving from here down to here. That's the direction of the arrow, moving this way and moving that way. Uh, but that's a rough guess, but we need an exact answer. So we're going to use two position vectors. I'm going to start here at the origin, and I'm going to draw in a new vector here. Now I'm going to call the origin O, which means that this vector here is OB. Sorry about the squeaking. Um, now we've got another position vector here, O to A, uh, which I will call vector O A. Alright, now at this point you might want to pause the video and think, okay, I've got a vector O B, I've got a vector O A, how can I express vector A B in terms of O A and O B? So hopefully you've tried a few different ways to go about this. But the way that we can combine OB and OA is to draw OB, that's about OB, uh, and OA, if we make it negative OA, so this is OB, negative OA looks like that. Now if we do OB plus negative OA, we will get something that looks like this, which is vector AB. Alright, so what do we have? We have a vector AB, and we can say that, and this is our general rule for this kind of thing, it's going to be equal to vector OB minus vector OA. Now, that's okay. Um, it should be noted that negative OA is the same as AO. So an alternative way to write this would be AB equals OB plus uh, AO. Okay, uh, we can sort of simplify that down a little bit by calling this vector B and calling this vector A. It's the vector leading to point A. It's the vector leading to point B. So we can say vector AB is equal to B minus A. Okay, uh, there's sort of our general form. It's probably important that I kind of make clear last letter B where it's so it's going A to B is your first vector. The first letter the A is your second vector and you're subtracting it. Okay? If I asked you to find the opposite vector, if I asked you to go the other way and find vector BA, I'll just do it down here. If you are finding vector BA, then that would be a minus B. Okay, so just be very aware it's the second vector first, the, or the second letter first, and the first letter second. So here's the sort of question we might be able to answer. Find vector CD for the vector from point C to point D if point C equals 3, negative 2, and point D equals negative 5, 4. Uh, just to give you a, a bit of a visual, uh, 3, negative 2, 1, 2, 3, negative 2, something like that. And D is a negative 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, negative 5, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. 
So that's C and that's D and we're finding vector CD. To do that, we create two position vectors, OC and OD, and we subtract one from the other. Okay, let's uh, give that a crack. So we can now say that CD is equal to the second letter first, vector OD minus vector OC. And now we just need to know what vector OD and OC are. OD is negative 5i plus 4j. And now we're going to subtract vector OC, which is um, 3i um, minus 2j. Uh, okay, negative 5i minus 3i is negative 2i. Uh, sorry, negative, negative 5i minus 3i, that was terrible, is negative 8i, and 4j minus minus 2j is um, 6j. 4j minus minus is plus 6j. Uh, okay, let's uh, double check that what I'm doing is correct. I said that there were two points, c and d, we're finding vector CD, a vector that moves from C to D, and I'm saying that it's negative 8i, that looks about right, negative 8i across, and 6j, 6j up. I have located the vector between two points. Now that I have that vector, I can do whatever I like with it, I can move it around. It doesn't need to stay within those points because vectors aren't confined to being wherever they are. It's just going to be a vector that moves in that direction and has that length, that magnitude.